Welcome to the Wrestling Report. First up, we have news on Shawn Michaels and his return to WWE. No, he isn't coming back to compete as a wrestler, but instead down at the WWE Performance Center as the finishing coach, taking the place of Terry Taylor. HBK is adamant about not returning as a competitor after his retirement, and this job allows him to stay true to his word while still being close to the action. Michael said that WWE once proposed the idea of him joining the creative team, but he turned it down because he didn't think he would fit in well. I have no reason to doubt HBK will do well as a trainer, and having such a talented athlete such as himself there will only be good for trainees. Next, we have an interesting bit of news on Goldberg. WWE recently posted a video where Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman were hyping WWE 2K17. Heyman would mention Goldberg, saying he's a supporting character next to the star, Brock Lesnar. Lesnar would then utter Goldberg's catchphrase, you're next. Of course, this could be nothing, but there's a chance this could be the beginning of Goldberg's return to WWE. As for Goldberg, he'll be in NYC this weekend to promote the video game. I want Goldie to return just as much as the next guy, but just not against Brock Lesnar given their in-ring history. Once again, we have Conor McGregor in the wrestling report. This time, McGregor launched a full-on assault against John Cena. He said he's 40 years of age, he's walking around in a luminous orange t-shirt and a headband talking about how nobody can see him. We can see him right there. He's a big, fat, 40-year-old failed Mr. Olympia. McGregor would go on to say he'd be happy to fight wrestlers, either in the octagon or on the street. He finished up by talking about WWE in general, saying he respects a lot of the people in WWE such as Vince McMahon, The Rock, Stone Cold and even Ric Flair, but he calls the new age guys absolute dweebs. Though I think the way he speaks is going to upset a lot of people, I know a lot of wrestling fans who feel the same way about superstars from the different eras of WWE. And that's the wrestling report for today. Be sure to follow Wrestling Up on Twitter to stay up to date with news and videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.